All right, guys, we are finally back with my ARC rented PvP rag server um, with offliner protection on it. Last time, what we did was we went over to, uh, what was it? Oh, yeah, we went and finally came to Bronto with our new trap, and I finally got an egg. Finally got an egg from Big Bertha, and we still have yet to name the mailbox. He went. So that's our Bronto right here. So we were over here last time and we made these guys. We got an egg from Big Bertha and now we are going to hatch the egg. Uh, before the recording, I set up a little bit. I got some, I want some berry gathering with my Therizino wherever he went. And, um, over here. These guys. I want some berry gathering. And, uh, oh yeah, I didn't check my temple. Oh, wow. Sorry, I said. I track here, but all right. But so now what we're gonna do is we are going to hatch this Bronto and see what kind of stats we got out of this guy. Well, let's get going. My audio all good. Blue. Okay, right, that's on. Just wait one moment. I'm making sure that my audio is good. I'm not sure if you guys can hear me. And I kind of double check for uh, it'll be pretty in Let's see. Let's see. Uh. Oh, my computer volume is low. Oh. Oh. I muted. I go. Alright, good. So I can hear myself. Sorry guys, my computer was muted. <laughs> Technical difficulties. My computer was muted and it sounded like that I was not uh, talking on here and I don't want that. Alright, so we're good now. Alright, now we're back. Okay, now let's go hatch this egg. So here is our egg from Big Bertha. Bertha and the Bronto. So we yet to name him. I have no idea what to name him actually. Alright. Now my hatching spot, I normally hatch over here with these little air conditioners. I actually tend to hatch a wyvern. It's just right out of reach out of my turns. So the turrets will not shoot the poor baby Bronto that will be popping out of here. We got about 10 minutes before we can actually for this big guy or girl hatches. And we'll see uh, uh, Yeah, so thank you friend who put in chat there. Yeah, but um Yeah, so we'll be hatching this big Bronto here. It'll be, who knows? Like lucky and get twins. But for now, so now we have 10 minutes to kill before we have to wait for this bronzo. Now I have all my berries through here that I gathered before the stream. Exotic. <laughs> I remember that gamer tag. <laughs> Here's all of my berries that I gathered earlier before the stream. Now, another thing I wanted to do in this stream, I wanted to go tame a berry on it. Uh, with that new trap that I made from the last stream. But uh, the pain in the butt is going to be about that one is that kibble. Hi, of course. Um, Hi, of course. Sorry, I have to lean over and see the. Yeah, chat doesn't pop up here on my Xbox. Pops up right. Sorry if I delay on uh, enter back. All right. Now we gotta play. 
tweeting him. All right, well, let's see. Well, while we're waiting for the Browns to like to do that. Let's go check on the traps. I have been over here a little bit. Oh, uh, I could live near. I could go nearby the swamp, Baryonyx. Well, of course, that's where we're gonna have to go anyway. But. <laughs> yeah, that base uh, definitely took me a, long, a while to make their friend. In a couple months. Been on here since day one of the server. Of course, I kind of have to. I mean, rent the server, you kind of you kind of have to play it. Here is my trap though, so we're gonna try to go get a Baryonyx. Try to stick this thing in here, but we're gonna need to do it on a Wyvern and I can't be on my little Griffin here because the Griffin will not be able to carry them. Could take an RG, which is a little bit more tougher, but well, I mean, I don't believe I even have any RGs actually. I don't think I retained any. Yeah, I don't think I even retained any RGs. All right, so we'll be doing that too. I'm not sure how fast the Baryonyx will tame with the fish meat. We need to find a male though, just like the Bronto, we need to find our male. Make sure they're not on so I don't accidentally run over their base there. I'm not sure if they have turrets on there, but it looks like they're offline, so we are. But for any of you guys that are are watching and you guys want to join along in the server, the server name's right here. Posted by Nitrado right there. And this is the server name right there in the middle. PvP with off on your protection on there. But yeah, we're gonna be going on there. There's nine people on. Man, it is quite laggy and telling me how many people are joining in. <laughs> Last time I just saw it, just said one, and now I went all the way to the nine. Thank you all for joining in. Oh, turns are going off on some, but on something. I wonder what it is randomly shooting my gate. That is quite peculiar. That is very odd. I don't know why they did that. That's concerning. Oh wow, I almost forgot my Bronto wig. Oh. Sidetracked again. Alright. Oh, we still got six minutes. Okay, so we'll, let's see if, uh, let's go check on our drinks and stuff like that so we can try to get a berry. I'd love to try to get a male berry on this. Try to breed those guys, but the only annoying thing about them is they only eat fish meat, and if I don't have the kibble, we're going to lose some effectiveness on them. We have the shocking tranks here, so we're definitely good there. Gosh, I don't even want us to do these live things. They're not even very worth the level. I'll go get some more Titan Boas. Alright. Well, actually, do we have Kibble? I wonder. We need Patchy Rhino Kibble, not Patchy Kibble, though. Or, uh, our Baryonyx. If we do decide to tame one, if I do want to try to get one this stream. Um, let's see. So we don't have, unfortunately, we do not have Patchy Rhino Kibble. Let me double check on my little teaming app here and see if uh, we actually have enough. How long it will take and how much effectiveness we might lose on the Baryonyx. I'm not too really concerned because I'm just going to be straight up breeding them with the females. And either way, it's not going to affect the baby whatsoever. I'm going to go and uh, check here on my little app here and see if uh, 
much effectiveness we're going to be taming. Our taming speed's at 25. Now, mainly, I'm only going to be looking for high level baryons. You gotta go for the best of the best here. Either we gotta go get some kibble or we gotta get some prime fish meat. Because I am not waiting. That's. Wait a minute. Oh, never mind. Sorry, guys. My uh, taming speed wasn't correct. Okay, yeah, that's, that's much better. Okay, yeah, much better. The taming speed was unofficial. <laughs> Wrong stats. That. I'm about to say, I know for sure nothing on this server takes over an hour to tame. That's for sure. Even if you tame a little 300. Alright, so, I mean, we won't lose too much effectiveness, it won't be too terrible. Well, 280 would only take 12 minutes to tame and only 31 fish meat, so that's really not too bad. Unless I manage to sneak, get prime fish meat, but we need 11 of it. That's going to be risky. That's going to be a little more tough. Alright. Well, we got to try to get some uh, berries here. Well, we had the berries. Now he's got to play the waiting game with this Bronto, and then we will try to go in a, on a search for a Baryonyx because I want a male for these two females. I got an egg from my one good friend. He doesn't play the server anymore, but um, he got he gave me a Baryonyx egg, and unfortunately his male got auto decayed when he left the server. So unfortunately, I did not be able to get his male. But I got twins of two females right here. I got twins. And I have not actually leveled them up very much lately. They're still on attacking target from when they were babies, so <laughs> they weren't even on. I didn't even change their stance yet. This one's barely even leveled up. So I want to get a male for these guys, for these girls, and yeah. So we'll definitely be raising those guys. Those guys are really nice to have around the base. You can wander, you can put them on aggressive, and they'll basically kill anything that's in the water. If anybody tries to go in the water, they'll immediately stun them. They're very helpful. Very good land mounts. Just like the thigh loads. Alright. <laughs> well, it looks like someone went next to my base. <laughs> That got on, that was caught on stream. <laughs> oh, phone met my heavy turrets. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, my base is uh, undefended there, guys. That's, that's pretty funny. So I got too close to the Titan. Oh man, I gotta put bullets in the thing. How dare you. Alright. Alright, but anyway though, yeah, and the Titan is legit guys, I've uh, tamed it with the Tech Tappy Saddle, that is on my profile too, I have that, and that's another thing too, I wanted to, on my center server, I'm going to do it on my center server since I already have a Titan here and there's no really other Titans that spawn on the map right now, I think there's like one per rag server, I think there is another one but I'm not going to, it's very rare to find, hard to find. Now um, I'm going to go on the center server and I'm going to show everybody either tonight, sometime tonight, and another stream, or something like that, I will take my tech, I'll either make another tech tab set, or take the one I have off my tab, or I did my tab, I think I put it inside the big building over there, either I'm going to grab the saddle, and I'm going to go tame a titan on stream, on the center, for um, that one update drops, showing that, because uh, there's going to be an update here soon, the TL. Something along there. Um, I'm on. A, I'm gonna say we're gonna be around like maybe the 18th. It's the next major update for this game. They're gonna be making it to where you can't knock out rock golems and you can't knock out titans or crabs with the tech tappy side, which is gonna really suck because I mean, like, really, like who who is able to aim those 
cannons and whatnot to do that. There's, a, there's almost like no way to try to knock that out. It's like almost impossible to knock it out. Really annoying. But, I mean, whatever. I have to deal with it. Can't really do too much about it. But I'm gonna try to at least aim. Oh god. Whoa. Oh, hey, we got some. That came with that was so loud that was not even. That actually made me jump. I'm glad I. I'm glad I didn't have the camera on me that time. That would have been very embarrassing. And perfect. We got a male and a female Bronto. Very awesome. Very awesome. Very excited about that. So now I have more of these Bronto. These guys are awesome tanks, especially on here. Basically, mini Titan. Right here. Depending on how you set them up. I will put these guys on passive and we will take them off with wandering. We don't want these little guys wandering around the base. Also, put their follow distance on lowest because we don't want them growing inside the air conditioners. We want to keep them away from there. These guys will easily grow into the, into the house by leaving right here where they are. Alright, come on, little guys. So, you have to name them. It's so funny how small they are, how big they make noises, how much noise they make when they're so small. Uh, it gets me every time. Come on, Brontos. Okay. I believe the, the churning speed should be 25. It should be 25. I've had a couple glitches lately with the server. Like, for instance, on my center server, for some odd reason, the teaming was on 8. Even though I know for sure I set it on 25. It was very odd, but I fixed that now. But sometimes that, that can happen. I don't know why, or... Who knows? Alright. But it should be 25. It was not going to take that long. I believe Brontos take about the same time as Rex, and Rexes take about the same time as Wyvern, and Wyverns, I know for sure, take about maybe three hours total to mature. So these guys are definitely going to be juvenile, and maybe, I want to say, let's say, definitely less than, definitely less than 20 minutes. Definitely. Maybe, maybe even 10 minutes. Well, what's their maturation anyway? Well, due to, even due to their weight, of how high much weight they have, it's not gonna, I can leave them be for quite some time. Plus, since I only, I threw out all the other types of mezzo, or threw out all the other types of berries, and I only just did straight up mezzo when I did, uh, find those berries, those Arizinos. So, it's gonna make a big difference there. I wish I had crops, but I do not have a greenhouse. But I'm very lazy at making greenhouse. That's just my own laziness right there. If I had a greenhouse, it, it, I wouldn't have to be really gathering berries as much. I still have yet to even go up these guys. These were... I don't know if I ever showed you guys these guys yet. I believe, actually, I moved around the previous stream. Just raise these guys. Yeah, I don't. I didn't raise these guys on stream. I raised these guys off of stream right before I started. The last one, I think they got fully grown. They were so bloody, I believe. Yeah, that's where. Yeah, but these guys were um, twins from one of them. One of my female bears, and then that's another bear. I think I got all females. Oh, I got one male. These guys are awesome too. I got the original wild tamed ones were from my friend that's on the server. She tamed them, and then she let me breed with them. I got those. Very high melee. I believe 608 is the base melee. Unfortunately, I did not get a chance to impress these guys up ahead of the work at the time. I didn't time that very well. Unfortunately, I didn't get to imprint. Printing is different, too. You should be able to imprint them gonna be an automatic 100% imprint once I do imprint these guys because of how fast the uh, breed is. The fun part is gonna be how much health they're gonna have to gain so they're gonna be very bloody by the end of this uh, raising here. 
Do they're already at 2.1%. They're already at 2.1%. Which is awesome. So I'm assuming by the time... I should, yeah, I'm assuming by the time... We'll keep, we'll keep going back and forth with these guys. Mm -hmm. For now, let's go see if we can't get ready and get prepared to go try to take on a Baryonyx. The main thing is I want to try to find one. We can just drop it inside the trap and so on. But Actually, you know what? I think we're going to get fish meat first. Keep forgetting that they take fish meat. Actually, you know, we probably could go underwater with the squids, and we can have some, uh, go we'll around kill some stuff. I don't, th I don't think I ever... I do believe I went down my underwater base on stream, but I never went around on the squids. You guys never seen my squids yet. We could go do that. And, uh, we gotta get some fish meat for these baryonyxes. Baryonyx, I'm gonna tell you. See how that goes. But anyone, if anyone new has been joining, and no, because I can't, it's very laggy for me apparently with the whole viewing thing. It's uh, like, for instance, earlier in the stream, it said one person was watching, and then all of a sudden went to nine. So, but if anyone new has been coming in and out, the name of the server is right there. Right there on there. Because so, they're joining if you want. Anyone's welcome. I can see you guys talking in chat whenever you guys you guys do talk in chat. I do appreciate you guys watching. Well, while we're waiting here for a couple seconds, I will drink some coffee for a couple seconds. Yeah, so three point. I want to see once they get around four percent, then uh, we'll walk away from these guys, and they should be fine by the time we get back with the Baryonyx. Actually, they'll probably be pretty big already. And I normally do my camera. I normally have my camera on me, but it's been weird lately. And plus, it's my room is dark right now. I don't know if it would get like actually uh, good quality. I don't really want to mess with that right now. Let's see here. Well then, there we throw all those berries. How oh, fun! Yeah, I wish a fish went this fast sometimes. Get those gigas. Another thing, too. I might, I might, uh, raise some gigas on stream. I think I'll go breed them all, though. Now, my main source of gigas that I have, my main parents, are not actually on this server. They're on the server that's connected to the server, on the PVE center server that is connected to this one. And I normally raise my gigas over there and bring them over here. Due to, uh, me actually having a decent hatching room over there on the center. Because I used my old legacy server, my old official server, but I made a very good hatch here over there. Main reason why I want to hatch these guys over here is because of my imprint, and I want them imprinted to me. I get the imprint bonus. Hopefully, I'm able to imprint these guys. I should definitely be able to imprint these guys sometimes. I know it's got out of work. I will not have to worry about that. All right. It looks like we are good here for now. We should be set. Let's go check on 130. Oh my gosh. I didn't realize how much weight they actually have. So that, yeah, we're definitely set there. All right, now we can go and take off and go adventure and see what else we can do here. Let's go check on our Titan. I don't believe. Have I fed him yet? Now, normally on official, you cannot feed titans. You cannot force feed them to die by a day, but on here you can. You do need to feed him, so let's go steal some berries out of the, that trough over there, real quick, and then we'll go feed him, and then we'll go see if we can uh, scout out some baryonyxes. But baby Bronto should be fine. 
I gotta make sure I move them or I don't want them being stuck inside of each other. That girl. I'm telling you, by the time I get back to the base, they're gonna be. He won't eat naturally, you actually have to force feed him. You wouldn't believe the grind it was to make all that stuff. Oh, oh crap, we need to go get fish meat, don't we? Uh, Alright then. Well, Alright, let's go down to the underwater base and let's get some fish meat. I like about the tech helmet too. It's basically an oxygen tank too. This thing is very nice. A little bit pricey to build, but definitely well worth it. Definitely well worth it. And all the engram I keep for I didn't mention earlier in the earlier in the stream that actually all of the you get all the engrams. Even at level one. You get all the engrams. It's just a server. And why are my turns down over here in this work puzzle? Run out of gas. Indeed I did. Oh, someone wants to say hi to me, it looks like. I just died a second time. <laughs> uh, keeping that in mind now. So let's see who it actually is. Let's see who it is. This, by the way, if you're wondering what all this is, this was my old... Uh, I built an arena. And I completely forgot to go over there to change, reset the timers, so it auto decayed. And, uh, yeah, that was my own stupidity. So it's, uh, it took me, a, I want to say, at least four or five hours to do that thing, and I completely forgot about it. Um, I took a break from Ark a little bit, and, yeah, so all of that decayed. I was very mad about that. Wait, well, oh, no, and this is my metal trap that auto decayed, too. That's just for my own stupidity. Alright, but let's see who it is. So, try to be human, try to be human. That's who it is. <laughs> killed Doug. Oh, and I killed the Tyran the Tyranodon, too, so. It's pretty funny. Okay, then. Alright. Alright, let's go the underwater base and let's go uh, let's go get some fish meat let me go check out here real quick so I gotta reset these timers over here so I gotta I don't know what I mean by reset timers is again the server has an auto decay function so like if you're not active in a certain area for like I want to say for a certain amount of time you do like wood and dinos or like seven days you have to make sure you're you're in the area like whenever you log in otherwise the stuff will decay when you're inactive so this basically gets rid of inactive tribes and destroys the old dinos so the server is not just cluttered with old bases and stuff like that. And that's why I never reset the server. That's why I never do any fresh wipes, just because of that. The server is basically auto-renewing itself every time. It's very helpful and very nice. The only people that are on the server are the people that are really dedicated to the server. Okay. Alright, we are back on the underwater base. So I'm not sure if anyone here has seen my underwater base, but this is the underwater base. Very secluded, very um, in a hidden area. And yeah, it was not fun to make either. But here is our squids. Now, I forgot which, I made these guys recently and I took one of the saddles off. Where is she? Take our raised one here, not our tamed one. This is the raised. So this is my most recent raised. Oh, is that my most recent? Which one's my maxed out one? Which 
Oh, and by the way, I have, um, I have the gamer tag shown offline, so if anyone that does join in and they want to talk and chat and stuff like that, um, your privacy is kept, so no one will see your gamer tag. I do respect the privacy of people, just in case you guys don't want to be recorded or anything like that. That is, yeah. So your only, only your character name will be shown in chat, due to privacy reasons. Um, sorry friend, I cannot do that right now. Let's go take a little trip on the squid and let's go kill some fish. Let's do some megalodons. I have not even gobbled this poor thing up yet. Hmm. Well, let's try to get her to at least 100k health. Put one point of weight. Leave the stamina there because the stamina is not very... You don't really need to pump up the stamina on these guys. So let's, um, you know, let's, let's make her go to 150k. Yeah, well, we did a little too extra there. Didn't mean to do that much. All right, let's go to the melee after that. Yeah, let's just be sure to melee. I think 150k is pretty okay. I think we got to really worry about killing us would be an alpha squid. That's basically the only thing that would basically kill, can even kill us. Also, let's grab this Megalodon. It's like one thing I love about the PvP server compared to PvE is you can actually grab wild dinos. Best thing ever with squids. This is old girls imprinted in my name. I also get an imprint bonus too. That goes for any raised dino. All right, it's taking forever. Die. There we go. That guy. Okay. Well, we got that. We got plenty of fish for me. Yeah, I forgot to mention too. The gather rate is uh 25 percent or 25 x too. But it does not take very long to grind. Nowhere near as official. Nowhere near as official. Pause right here. I got uh, a private message. Did he ever say back my message yet? He never even responded either. Where was his stuff? <laughs> oh. Can't really be, can't really help him out if, uh, yeah, if, he, if he's, uh, I don't know where his stuff is. Oh, okay, what was it? Uh, oh, the one thing that drives me nuts, I always end up forgetting where my base is. Hopefully I don't get lost out here. I've done that a couple times. I do it every time. Hopefully we should be able to see our stuff. Where did it go? I only remember because it was next to an oil spawn. That's the only thing I know about my... Oh, there's the oil. Okay, so we're n nearby. We are nearby. Oh, oh, I thought it was a bubble. Maybe. Got the world border. What was that? Oh, is this... what is that? Is this sonar? Oh, I found jellyfish. Oh, God, did we just get lost on here? Oh, I want to go to Imperionics. This is not what I wanted. 
Oh, I don't want to have most of the stream of me swimming around in a circle trying to find my base. <laughs> That's not what I wanted. Oh, I really had to mark it down or something. Oh, there's a world border. Okay, we're definitely too far away now. Okay, whoa, 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 whoa. Oh, what is... Oh, it's my own ink cloud. No one saw that. No one saw that. That did not happen. Maybe. Hopefully. Okay, yeah, this is definitely where the base is. Because I remember that oil spawn. I didn't build on the oil spawn, but nearby. There we go. Okay, there she is. Okay, perfect. Perfect. There we go. Now we're not lost in the abyss down here. Right now, we're going to try to go focus on taming our Baryonyx. Just in case anybody tries to attack. It is PvP. Might be the old server owner, but I do play legit and it is PvP. Anything goes. Alright, well, let's get back down here. Back in here. Oh, I didn't mean to do that. Knowing I didn't hold Y in order to open these things up. Okay. Alright, now we got all the fish meat. So now we can probably actually. Mm -hmm. Well, actually, let's, let's go throw these up in the fridges. Look at the feeding troughs. I can't have all this fish meat while we're trying to tame Barry on it. I know for sure, man. I don't want to overkill. I don't want to overkill my wyvern over there. That I did not think that through. I did not think that through whatsoever. Yeah. Don't forget to like and follow my stuff, though, so you guys won't miss any of my other streams. I normally try to stream on a daily basis. At least, maybe for every day or every other day, depending on my work schedule. Depends on what's going on. I'm going to be streaming a couple times a day. These next couple of days is because I finally have off of work for a little bit. And I love being able to stream back into streaming because I haven't been streaming as much lately. Basically took a break, a little break from streaming and then I miss it. It really was fun. It was nice to meet a whole bunch of new people and, you know, it was really nice. Alright, well our Brontos are juvenile. Finally, our bronzes are juvenile. We gotta make sure they're next to the little troughs over here. We don't want them trying to eat up different troughs because those are our bears over here. Like I said, we weren't even gone for, what, 10 minutes and look how big they got already. Well, I guarantee you by the time it's done seeing this very eyes, man, it's not gonna take me three hours to turn on it, but it, uh, yeah, it, they're gonna get massive real quick. Really not much waiting around on this. What I want. Good there, and we got fish meat. Now I'm probably gonna just chuck the fish meat in these troughs here. Let that can hold it. I have no room. Maybe not. Maybe. Oh wait. Oh maybe. And when we get ready to go off, we will go get the baryonyx. I go feed my poor little otters anyway. Or inside my building there. All right, there we. That's about that's about enough fish meat as we need right there. Oh, and I took some berries out of the trough there. We do not want that. We want our big old brown baby brontos eating those bunch of berries. Actually, I didn't even check the poor feeding troughs. How much? 
berries? Did they go? Oh yeah, I put all the berries inside of them. Inside the trough. Did I put all the berries? But the way they already went through a trough full of berries. Did they already go through a trough? Can't be. There's no way. They went through all that berries. There is no way. I really think they just did. Are you kidding me? Oh, looks like I'm going to go on a berry run. Why are they eating that much? Hmm. That's very odd. I hope we have no berries for these guys. Bad things. Quite odd. All right. Well, they should last. They should last. Yeah, we have a lot of berries in there. They should last. At least for at least 30 minutes. That's very odd. That's very odd. I never seen them eat that fast. It's not official. That's really weird. All right. I don't have all this other stuff. On Oh, you getting worse than seven days to die, but we're not in inventory space here. Give an empty inventory. Alright, let's just get rid of the spoiled meat, because we don't need spoiled meat. I have plenty of narcotics, and I can always get spoiled meat at any given time. And I do not need any more narcotics. Pretty good on narcotics there. And this raw meat, I don't know where it is. You know what, Rex, here, have some raw meat. So I'll organize my bases. There we go. Alright. Let's do that. Alright, now let's go and try to go knock out the very eyes. And since people are trying to... We got people trying to say hi from time to time. Those guys are trying to go for my base. Be careful and be on the lookout for people. I could just t straight up take my war quest though, and go in to get the baryonics. <laughs> I don't want to have anybody trying to sneak on by, but uh, war quest is too slow, and I don't want to scare anybody. Um, if there's, cause there are bases nearby, and I don't want to scare them thinking that I'm about to raid them. I don't want people to have that impression. Currents did he knock out? I don't, I don't even see his dead Terra. I had no idea, and he never responded to me, so I have no idea, so... I mean, it's whatever. I guess that happened, son. Whatever happened. Alright, we got fish meat. Alright, now we go get our tranks. We gotta go get... Try to actually find... Oh, the pro even came out. I don't think I ever showed him either. He's my little landmine. I have him around the base. I have my random spots around the base, so if anybody does manage to get nearby the base, he automatically pops out of there and kills people. Very fun. I'm going to tame more of those guys, but those guys are a little more tricky to tame. And you might need the tech helmet in order to do that. Or a good Yudi. You have to scare them out of the ground. You do not want to get stunned by them. You do not want to get stunned by a wall of them. Alright, here is our long neck that I've made on my center server. Brought it over here. I'm using that blueprint right there. Uh, actually, that one's better durability. That might be a different blueprint, actually. This. That's higher durability. Huh. Sad. We got up a drop. Definitely a possibility there. Alright. Besides that. So let's see, uh, let me double check my app here and make sure and see how long a baryonyx would take. I mean, like, uh, trank wise. Tranks are pretty cool. Only nine? Really? Okay. Well, we don't have to worry about that then. We're definitely good on darts. We'll, let's just bring 50 because there's a kid being getting killed or something like that. Do that. Always gotta think twice, guys. Always gotta think twice. We got the fish meat. We got darts. Hopefully, our little Bronto survive. I'm very angry they didn't die. We're mad at arc. That would, does not make sense how much how fast they're eating right now. 
All right, now we could take Quetzal, but Quetzal will take ages to move that thing, so we're gonna have to, ugh, that'll take ages. All right, so let's just take one of our wyverns. We'll take a really good, this baryonyx will be biting our butt while we're trying to tame this thing, or trying to carry this thing, so we're gonna need something with really good health. Where did my trusty fire wyvern go? Oh, we could take Medusa. I haven't got to take her yet. She was a 380 poison wyvern egg, I believe. I don't think I even pumped any points into her. Nah, I don't like poison. Well, I mean, I love my poison wyverns, but uh, they're not my favorite. Packing wise. Where did he go? Oh, I'm going to go nuts. This is why I need to. Oh, there he is. Okay. He's over here. This is my trusty fire wyvern. I usually get. I use him all the time to kill alpha wyverns to get the wyvern milk and printing purposes. You don't actually need wyvern milk to actually get them alive, like official, on uh, how fast they grow. By the time they grow, they do not need to be fed wyvern milk. The only time you ever need to feed them wyvern milk is if they want imprint imprinting with wyvern milk. All right, so let's get our merry way here, and we're gonna stop by the swamp. Now it's gonna be a fun trying, to be a fun time trying to carry this guy. Now the main thing is gonna be is just trying to find one of these little guys. They are a fun time. Now we're not gonna settle for anything, either. Like I want to save from like 270 to 300. I've gotten a couple 260s before that had the stats for 300, so it all varies. Even on official, it all varies too. So we're gonna try to do. We're gonna try to do. Uh, what's it called? Uh, yeah, let's, let's try between a 260 and a 300. We'll try that. See how well it works out. Where on earth am I going? Am I going the right way? I hope I am. I don't remember going by Viking's Bay to the swamp. Alright, let's see. I believe I have the map shown. Yes, I do. Okay. Yeah, snipe if you're watching. I do even know where your old base was. But, um... Yeah. Those, those are very old markings, guys. If you guys haven't noticed. Very old markings. And for some odd reason, even though... These were from, actually, what was funny is, these were from my old server. This was from my old Xbox server, these uh, markings here. And for some odd reason, they carried over to here. It was very, very odd. <laughs> but, yeah, these are from my old Xbox server. These weren't from my, these aren't from here. I don't know why they're over here. And it, even on my official server, these uh, markings pop up. So I believe it's character bound. Actually, I think the the only thing that's actually marking that's actually from here is my water base. But I don't know if... Uh, no, I think it's a different location. Yeah, that's a different location. That's not my water base down there. That's my old one. Alright, but anyway, besides all that, you're almost here. Now into the swamp. I haven't explored the desert region region either. I haven't. That's all new to me. I have not explored that one bit. I actually am kind of curious. I want to. Really, I can just. Sorry about the delay there. It looks like it looks like my stream may have went crash or something. That was really annoying. Well, if anyone else is watching out there, let me give me a heads up. That was very odd. Really twitch. I gotta do that. All right. Anyway, besides that, back to doing what we're doing. All right, back to looking for our Baryonyx here. Again, people, if uh, everyone's watching, you want to play the server, you, know, want, you have ARC, you have Xbox, you want to play, that's the server name right there. Oh, 
Ooh, hey, look at that. Very nice. That was easy to find. Oh, is that a 110? I guess I believe that's a 110. And... a 110. Come back. Oh, plus we need to find a male. Oh, it is a male, too. Aw. That sucks. Oh, we don't want that one, though. We need to find... Oh, yeah, it reminds me. We need to find a male, too. We have to make sure we find a male, not a female. We need a male. We don't point to another female. Sarko, another Sarko, Capro. This is my occasional spot for Baryonyxes, since, since this swamp. The swamp is fairly common for Baryonyxes. On the center, they normally pop on rivers, too. Oh, there's another one right there. Ooh, a 270 male. Yes, perfect. That is our guy right there. That is our guy. All right, so we gotta, we gotta make sure we go land here for stamina because again, he's gonna bite my butt while I'm while I'm carrying him. He's gonna be doing some serious damage to my little wyvern here. You guys are tough. Where are these on the ground? Oh, these are bugs. Yeah, your bugs. One likes you. Get out of here. Give me your meat. There is our male. Perfect. That is our male Baryonyx we want to knock out. Let's grab him. Let's go. Yeah. Oh, that's an epic fail. One saw that. Alright, so once again. Uh, there we go. Okay, we got him. Alright. Oh, he's probably going to bite my butt. Yep, he's going to bite my butt. <laughs> he's not happy. He is not being happy. He's not happy being picked up. So that says it's going to be fun. Alright, thankfully he's not biting me just yet. He's not biting me just yet. But he will be biting me here me soon. And they do some damage. I'm kind of curious. And then since his wyvern also, since wyverns don't have saddles, this will be interesting. But a 270 male is perfect. That is what I want. Finally. Alright, so we will definitely bring him by the trap and let's knock his little butt out. Now the fun time is though, I gotta make sure I don't accidentally go over any bases because I don't want myself to get shot and I don't want my poor, my Baryonyx, the perfect Baryonyx I want, oh, I'm getting shot either. I'm not too concerned if anyone does try to attack because I have my methods. But yeah. Let's see how it goes. I do appreciate it, everyone who's been watching. I know I, my stream went down. I think my stream crashed or something like that. That was another thing about Twitch I didn't like. From time to time, my stream would crash and it would get really annoying. I got the fastest internet too, so it ain't the internet. It's definitely not my internet. That's for sure. Oh, it's my wallet when I'm paying the internet. All right, now the main thing is I'm concerned about is first off me running into anybody's turns. Second off is if I might have to drop this guy for stamina and this guy will take off since how fast they are. I'm very concerned about it. Hopefully, I'm hoping that I can hopefully maybe land for stamina safely if I have to. I might be able to make it. Worst comes worse, I'm not gonna have to sprint. I'm gonna have to try to glide over there. We're not trying to make this. We're not bringing this thing to my actual base. We're bringing it to the trap, which is nearby my base. I showed earlier in the stream. Oh god! Oh oh oh! I forgot. This is this is my tribe. Oh, those are bats. Okay. Well, let's not get rabies. Let's not run into the bats. Hopefully, the Diego. I don't want them to kill my poor Baryonyx. I definitely do. I'm do not want to be fighting them on foot. I'm not getting rabies. Okay. Rabies is very bad in real life and on here. And high force optics, I see. <laughs> I see, do see, good job. Again, sorry about the delay in chat, though, because um, I had 
Chat is not showing for me for Twitch on the Xbox. It's showing me on um, my PC over there. I do see your guys' chat. Anybody who talks in chat. Well, for some reason, it does delay on how many my viewers are for some odd reason. I'm not sure exactly how many people are watching all the time. Let's well, not drop this in some... This is concerning. I'm about to... Oh, I'm about to run out of stamina. Oh, come on. Where's the trap? Where did I put the trap? Oh, my God. This is not going to be good. My, if this wyvern runs out of stamina, and I gotta go toe-to-toe -to -toe with this baryonyx, I'm gonna die. Okay, whoo. And I forgot to shut the door. Oh my god. Okay, guys. Well, let's risk it. I'm gonna try to park the wyvern in front of the door and hopefully block it from running. Oh, land wyvern. No. Okay, ready? Let's risk it. Go. Oh, go, 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 go. Oh, Okay. Okay, he didn't aggro onto me. Oh, that got that was just plain luck right there. Ooh, that was plain luck. All right, the scaling on fire. So my the wyvern needs to. Okay. Make sure there's no threats in the area because I do not want to be trying to trank out, trank this thing if there's gonna be raptors attacking my butt or something. Galley's there. Ah, like that raptor. 6 year after to be exact. Another horse. Okay. Anything we want to train this thing before it's that my meat spoils. Oh, about to say, did I bring my actual training darts? Is he not loaded? So I cannot see because of my due to my due to my um my hot bar being covered by the twitch thing. I don't know how to get rid of that. You guys, you guys don't see it, but I do. All right, let's try this again. Now he's mad. Okay, he's very angry. But you can't do anything with that stone. Well, let me get a shot on you, little guy. Oh, the epic fail is real. The epic fail is real. All right, let's try. Well, let's shoot this little guy in the butt then. Just can't go for my headshots I wanted to do. Wait, maybe I might be able to get a headshot. Let's see. Let's see. Oh, there's a headshot. Maybe, possibly. Come on. Now, it's supposed to take, I want to say, around between seven to eight darts. A very little toper, so this guy should be a very easy tank. And I'm very surprised I didn't have to go running around the swamp trying to find this guy. We got very lucky here in finding a male. So quick. That was very awesome. Best look I've had all day. There's another reason why I want to go toe-to-toe -to -toe with it. Yes, and it's down. Okay, we are good. For some reason, when I built this trap in the previous live stream, I forgot to build a door. So that was my own bad. Alright, so he should be all good. We'll stick some fish meat into him. And yeah. He should be able to get a baryonyx. Finally, we got our male baryonyx, and now we can finally breed baryonyxes. Alright, so let's, what is our stats? So we only got 3k health, 3.6k health, 255 melee is not too terrible, 604 weight is pretty ridiculous, stamina is pretty good too. These are just base, remember, these aren't actually after tame. We will see how it, be, it goes after tame. Now he's going to be going through some serious fish meat. I'm hoping that, that the taming is on 25, and if it's not, then we're going to be here for a while. It should be on 25, though. It should be on 25. We're going to lose some effectiveness, unfortunately, due to due to Baryonyx is eating fish meat, but I'm not too concerned about that, because I'm going to be mainly... If anyone's going to be running around with, I'm going to be running around with them um, my raised ones. My raised ones will always get 100% effectiveness since it's a baby. Alright, let's go put our train stuff away, just in case we get killed. It's like a very long time to kill that wyvern. Alright, be safe and sorry. Always gotta think, you always gotta think ahead of everybody. You can never be too safe in arc.
All right, so this should approximately take about four minutes, I believe. It should take about maybe, maybe about four minutes. Yeah, that's what, at least that's what my app said. But we're going, we're going by the app. Hopefully it does. Worst comes worst, I'm gonna have to fly back to base, grab some narcotics to keep this thing down, or I can just run around and try to grab some narco berries. We will see though, we will see. Okay. Come on. Oh wyvern. Alright. I don't believe I see anybody either. I guess we're good here. Yeah, I might be the admin of the server, but I do play legit here. Everyone who's been watching my streams definitely knows that. Anyone, anyone who's ever been on my servers knows that. The only time I'm ever going to be using cheats is my actually I might be making a shop on the Thunder server for everybody. I'm going to be selling Aberration Dinos due to Aberration Dinos not being able to be on here. I'm not going to host an aberration server for it either. But this way, you will utilize both servers and it will be all nice and fun. Alright, so our Baryonx is still going through some fish meat here. I know I have plenty of fish meat for it. We overfilled the squid. And the more thing I'm concerned about is the, how much berries those brown toes went through because they did go through about a trough, a tech trough full of berries, and that's actually making me nervous. So we will see how much berries those brown toes are going through, but oh, that's gonna be concerning. That's gonna be concerning though. The main thing is when we get this thing down, we can run that. And actually, you know, I might just hatch these berry. I might just hatch some berry, baby berry, honestly. But again, though, anyone who's watching, um, if you want, ever want to join the server, anyone's welcome. The server name's right there. I also have the PVE Center server too, but that is not listed on here quite yet. But it is connected to the server. And it's hosted by Nitrato, too. But, uh, yep. And I also stream a bunch of different games too. I also, my main games I normally stream, I, I go Seven Days to Die, Call of Duty, uh, what was the other one? Uh, I don't really stream Minecraft, but I haven't played, oh god, I haven't played Minecraft in years actually. I do, I do record that on the VR though, that's pretty interesting. Minecraft, oh, we got a wyvern, hold up. Who is it? Ravenger. Okay, we'll see how that one goes. Okay, I think they're friendly. Actually, if he tries to, well, I mean, I don't, I'm not sure. I do remember that, uh, that name. Oh, it's Optic. Oh, okay. Hi, oh, Optic. Yeah, but, uh, yeah. We'll see how that goes. Alright. Yep. I always play the waiting game here. Oh my gosh, not too bad. So I guess the worst that's gonna happen is the effectiveness is probably gonna get dropped down to maybe 91%. But she's already at, he is already at 50%. We got plenty of fish meat inside of it, so I guess we're doing pretty good. Doing pretty good. 
to try to raise some more. I want might definitely try to raise some Baryonyxes because they are pretty nice damage dealers. Had a really nice saddle and they had more health. I'd bring them into the boss fight. We'll see how that one goes. I really, all right, this is seeming like it's taking way more than four minutes. This is taming speed on 25. Is it glitchy again like it would did was on the center? I have a bad feeling that I think that's what the case is here, guys. Because it should be, it should be tamed by now. I understand why it's not tamed. Definitely have been more than four minutes. There's that. Oh. <laughs> yeah, I see you too. <laughs> yeah. Alright, so, oh my god, why is this thing not tamed yet? Oh my gosh. Alright, so after this, we'll try to do maybe a berry run. I'll try to do a berry run with the Therizino. Or I could take out Big Bertha. Hmm. I haven't really moved Big Bertha. I need to get some XP into her. We'll go run around and kill some wild dinos with her. Not sure how long the baby brontos are gonna take a couple hours. I definitely not gonna be. I mean, I'll stream at the end, maybe like when the brontos are done. I'm gonna definitely stream a couple times tonight. It might be on here or different games. I'll definitely uh, show them when they are done. Uh, yeah, I'm pretty sure no one wants to watch with a bronto being grown, but literally. Due to the stream, I can't really uh, fast forward anything. <laughs> on my YouTube channel, yes. I'll be showing highlights of everything of my streams on my YouTube channel. Just Travis A dot. Yeah. Travis A dot gaming. So, something along those lines. I have to link it or something because it's driving me nuts. Another good thing about the tech helmet is you can basically see anybody from like a mile away. It's really nice and really helpful. It's always very helpful. It's very helpful for like dangerous stuff and mostly in the water when it gets really dark. It's, it's really nice. Oh, we're almost done guys. We are almost done. Oh, there's a purple drop nearby. Let's see, yeah, you know what, the only command I'll ever be using is that right there. And another command I would ever use is destroy wild dinos, just in case, like, the server has, sometimes, for some reason, the rented servers and dedicated servers have trouble respawning dinos, and from time to time, the server can get pretty dead with, like, no having no dinos around, which is really annoying. I don't understand why it does that or how I can fix that, but that does happen from time to time, and I have to use that command destroy wild dinos to force respawn. I know this. We're getting close with our little uh, Mr. Baryonyx here. We are getting close. We are getting close here. Alright, 
right, and after this, we will definitely be going over and check out the Brontos again and check on them. Hopefully they didn't grow inside of anything yet. Probably got massive by now. Hopefully they didn't eat all my berries. But if they did, they did eat all the berries and die, it would show me on the top of my screen. But I didn't see any death messages recently. We should be good there. 98% though. 98%. And then another thing too is some random is tech is I'm not sure if I mentioned it already, but you can get all the engrams. Uh oh, he's getting back attacked by a raptor. But um yeah, you get all the engrams even at level one. Like as soon as you start in the server, right? Or very nice name. You do get all the engrams when you do first start the server. And including all the tech. So the only thing you have to actually do, you don't have to do boss fights anymore, and you also get element inside the supply drops too. The only hard thing about making tech is you just gotta make the replicator. That's it. But you can do everything else. You can make all this other stuff. Like the sword, shield. So all this stuff was legit. All this stuff is legit. You need it all. Easy. Actually, I had tech before I did that update because uh, I had the boss records and I actually did the bosses. So I'll set this little guy to passive for now. Actually, no, I'll set him to neutral. I'm kind of curious what his damage does. Let's go, get some, let's go get him a saddle. Let's go breed him with uh, our little. Uh, you know, first off, we gotta check the. We gotta check our little Brontos. Oh God. Oh. Okay. Okay. And onward. Let's see how well we going. So, that worked out pretty well. Now the only bad thing about Baryonyxes again is they only eat fish meat. So if we do want to raise any Baryonyxes, we're going to have to go back underwater and with the squid and get more fish meat. Well, uh, raised Baryonyx, they are very, very powerful. Very helpful. I know I play the waiting game, all this loading. Oh my god, the loading. Oh, oh, okay. Ooh. A little tad bit laggy there. Oh god, where'd our Brontos go? Oh, look how big they are. They got so big. Alright. Let's see here. Let's go land. Ooh, that's a purple drop with a ring around it. Alright, hold on. I gotta check this thing out. Is there a ring around it? I can't tell who that is. Eh, I'll go check it out. Why not? Kinda curious. We don't get bombarded by mantises. A bad feeling that might happen. Oh, eh, oh why Wyvern? Why do you not want to land? Why, why do you hate me? All the stuff I did for you. Let's check it out. Uh, ooh, a spinal saddle though, and the aloe saddle. That was a that was a well worth drop. Heck yeah, spinal saddle's awesome. Uh, the flak itself though, meh. I only think it's around the flak though. I have basically my tech stuff. It's basically a little, well, I mean. That flag isn't too bad though. But I've seen better. Do I even have tag gauntlets? I don't think I even have tag gauntlets. Oh yeah, I have a riot gauntlets. I don't really wear flag as much as I used to. I do like flag. Alright, let's go check on our poor baby Brontos to make sure they are okay. Come on. Why do you not want to land today? Oh my god. Come on. Nope. A little pain in the butt. You really do not want to land today, don't you? Oh, 
It looks like we have some stone structures too. So yes, white through purple drops are those drops are all edited by me and I put specifically put element. You will find element white through purple drops. You'll find element there. Anything above purple will be just a normal stuff. What I love on the Trotto servers is the uh, you can uh, mess around with this kind of stuff. Alright. Let's check on our run to this. Now, uh, they're probably going to be pretty bloody because they, they still need to heal a lot because how fast they're growing. They're probably pretty, yep, they're pretty bloody. That's just because of how fast they're growing and how much health they actually have to gain. They cannot gain all that health before they grow. This is why I also have my data downs over here, wherever they went. These little guys I actually had to use for the boss fight. and think this is my raised one from the boss fight, I believe. I don't want to go past the Eater, I think. The only thing is we gotta make sure we have a bunch of raw meat because she'll eat like a truck. She'll eat so much meat it's not even funny. And you'll easily uh, you easily starve to death. Can't do it in a short burst, but it's very helpful for healing. Alright. So well, we will worry about healing them once they hit about adolescent. I will worry about that. The main thing is, they're fine. Let's just check our trough here. Okay, so they didn't, they aren't going through as much barrier as I thought they would. Oh, we need to move right there. Much more normal. Ah, that's more rum here. I'll go put some of the stuff away because I don't want you all this stuff on me. Alrighty. Now that spinal saddle, I do like that spinal. So too bad it's not a weird it's on a blueprint. I've been making so many of them. Another thing too. I don't want to actually I don't have any spinals over here either. They've added new spawns over there in the recent update. I'll have to go do that. I'll have to make another trap over there though. There's no way I'm walking a spinal over here. There's really no way to really get it out of the canyon either. Alright, well, let's go equip this spinal saddle. There we go. Not too bad. Alright. Now... Let's see here. Oh, oh you know, let's just take a trip to the underwater base. Let's go drop the stuff down there. Let's do it, then we'll do a quick berry run. I'm not sure how long these guys will take to raise, but I do need more fish meat. Actually, you know what we could do is, we can go down there. Actually, you know what, I'm going to mate these guys just real quick. Get their eggs, and we'll have some berry. Almost, see, I'm not sure how long the incubation time is on these guys. And I do want to go get some fish meat. i go get some more fish meat again. We can raise some berry on this. I would love to raise some berry on this. We will check that out. Alright, let's do this. We'll get to name these guys. If you guys ever have any ideas for naming or anything like that, I'll be more than happy to see if you consider it. As long as it's appropriate. Just keep it clean. Well, I'll definitely, uh, since my awesome viewers out there, I will name it after what you guys want to name it. I'm horrible with names, and yeah, it's always and it's basically a good way to interact with you guys and know you guys are watching and fun and whatnot. So, yeah, that was a name. All right, so let's bring these guys. Let's bring our male, our lovely new male, with these lovely females. See how well they work out together. We enjoy your little girlfriends there, buddy. Hey, come, okay, well, come on. You, gotta, you have to get in here with them. Come on. Really? There you go. Mate, 
these guys. What's this Megs? Maybe we're wandering. Do that. Go. And by the way, too, all this stuff will be uploaded to my YouTube channel too. I really had to make sure I say my name, YouTube name, right. That's why I haven't been saying it as much. I can't remember if it's Travis A. Dot or Travis A. Dot Gaming. I can't remember what it was called. I haven't uploaded on there a little bit. I haven't uploaded most of my streams on there just quite yet recently. I have to do that again. I'm gonna wait until I do a couple, couple streams and see how well it goes out, and then I'll start uploading. But yes, there will be these, these, all these streams will be uploaded to YouTube. They will be. I think. As long as, uh, I think I might have to edit most of his some stuff out, but, um, yeah, the, the entire stream won't be uploaded, but, like, ed like an edited version, like the highlights, kind of thing, be edited. That'd be a really lengthy video. I'm pretty sure no one wants to sit through here for an hour on a YouTube video. Just sit there and watch the stream with me, if that was the case. There they go. Okay. There's one. Damn, are you still on attacking tar? Oh. Go and pass it. Uh, I should not put you on neutral. So one baryonic sig. I'm not sure how long they will take to incubate. I don't want to risk it. Them hatching on me because I don't have I don't have all the fish meat on me. Actually, I actually don't. Do I have fish meat? I think I actually do have fish meat. Got the trough. I think I brought a whole bunch of extra with me. Okay. All right. Let's disable their wandering. I'll leave them in here for now. I'm not really too concerned about it right now. I just not feel like putting them back out. Real right there. Oh my. Like I said, on for a little bit, I'll go big they got already. So this entire time, remember when we first started, they were just so small, they were even bigger than the beaver. And now how big they got. Very easily outgrow each other. Okay. Now let's see if we have make sure we have any fish meat real quick before I throw on these eggs. Just in case, I'm not sure how long it'll take. So we do have an entire profitable fish meat. Just in case they do pop out really quick, we can raise them. But then if we hop back down to water and get some more fish meat. We'll see how it goes. Four minutes, so yeah, we'll definitely hash these guys on stream. I'll show what levels they pop out to be and maybe go back underwater. Not so much time we got here. But pretty good. We got done what I wanted to do. We managed to get a baryonyx. We managed to hatch up these new barantos that I got to mess around with now. I'm gonna be, these guys are going to be some amazing tanks. And I'm going to be putting some saddles on them. Unfortunately, I've never found uh, a platform saddle blueprint. But yeah, I have any drops. Unfortunately, for these guys. You can never really find them. They're really, really tough to find. But I'm going to be making primitive saddles. But I will be putting maybe possibly some turrets on them. Maybe I'm going to make my little war brontos. They're not going to be as awesome looking as a titan though unfortunately. So they can't carry that much stuff. But uh, they will be mini titans basically. We'll see how much health they get, they get to. I'm really hoping for at least maybe 100 to 150k health. If they seriously get to 150k health. After imprinting and after being leveled, they get over 100 decay health. They're seriously many tiny. One boss of Diplo over here. This one's called the boss of Diplo. So I actually brought him into the fight. He's actually in the boss face. Again, 
The server wasn't always like this, how it has all the engrams. It was, I actually had to physically go and do the boss fights to get, to originally get my tech. And I made all my stuff while that was going on. And so just recently, it's, you're able to get, unlock all the engrams. So I had all this tech stuff before that came out. So I actually have boss fighting stuff because I actually went and did the boss fights. That was really rough. And see, this one's still on attacking target from the boss fight. So this is my boss fighting dipple right here. You can check out the health on this bad guy. And that saddle. So this thing was really nice and it did help out and it distracted a lot of the stuff on there and made uh, a little bit easier on the Rexes when we were fighting. Uh, he didn't have 300k health. I, had, I think he had about maybe 100k, I believe. Because, uh, again, that was before the, when I made it to where you can have 200 levels put into your dinos instead of 75. But yeah, that was that was a fun time. I think I actually have to record it too. Yeah, yeah, I do. <laughs> yeah, I do have it recorded. Not on stream, unfortunately, but I do have it recorded on my own profile, on my own personal videos. I have my uh, my me doing the boss fight on hard, the ending of me, my Rex is killing everything. You can see the Diplo, my UD, and all the other fun stuff in there. That was really fun. It was rough. It was really rough. I couldn't imagine it trying to do it on an official. I. On the boss fight on the center EVE official, um, my legacy server. And then actually, the funny thing is, the legacy server that's connected, the server that's connected to this server, the center server that I own, is actually an exact copy of my legacy server, my official legacy server. All the stuff I had on official, I basically brought over to dedicate. Really awesome, man. Yeah. It's really cool. It's really cool to see all my old dinos and stuff like that. I've spent years and years on work on. I can actually, and I can basically continue off of it and not have to worry about being on official. That's really nice. The only reason why I ever left that was because due to when the game released, basically the server split between two. If you guys don't know about it already, right? there's a legacy and the new official servers. And the legacy were basically the old beta server. And then um, there was rumors about the white bomb, and then there was no population, and uh, so on and so on. One thing led to another. I basically killed all myself on Legacy, brought it over here via Nitrado with the exact copy because they made Legacy saves. If it, the devs made a Legacy save for anyone to download in their Nitrado app, they have to have Nitrado, Nitrado hosted though in order to do it. But yeah, you can. All your Legacy. Available permanently, so it's really nice. All right, we got our first little Baryonyx, and he's running away from me. Come here, come back, nope. Oh. Good job about the turn, nope. Come here. Oh god. In the blood, nope. Really, hey. Oh, so fast. Hey, look, we got a man. Oh. Ooh, 5k health. So that must have been from the female. That was definitely from the female. The male only had. Oh, you got lower stamina, however. That's interesting. Male, female? Yeah, male, female. Oh, peculiar. Both popped up 399. 402 melee. That is not too much. Wait, wait, wait. And then we got 496. So that's a big difference right there. That's a huge difference. Huh. That's interesting. So it looks like they got they got the same level. They got different stats. That's very odd. But these little guys don't actually surprise when they don't go through that much fish meat. They grow very fast due to how fast the server is from growing. They grow quite fast. They don't go through that much meat. Even on official. You don't go through that much meat. Very easy. On official on official PvE, I used to read these guys all the time right before I before I went to work. They take about maybe like a day and a half on official. On here they take about maybe I wanna say so maybe like an hour, hour and a half. 
I don't think for long at all. The thing is that melee though, that melee is very nice. That melee is very nice. we want. We want these guys to be like our main like little attackers. These guys I know when you're gonna be like hiding these little guys around the base and whatever and they're gonna be like just like the Perlovi over here. I would sound like with the fence over here. And I have to put them somewhere else now. I'll show them where my secret hiding spot is on my stream so I'm gonna put move him on when I'm off stream move him around. Just in case anybody little guys are watching out there trying to pull a fast one on me. But uh yeah I'm gonna have these little guys running around the base on aggressive, and then we'll basically kill anything that's trying to land inside the base. They're very powerful. I'll probably show people when they are fully grown, and I do my next stream, I'll try to show them how much damage they actually do when they're fully leveled. Yeah. Okay. But uh, we'll see how much longer we gotta do here. Probably almost already two but now already. This is crazy. They're really fast. Much faster than the Brontos. How much meat they're already holding. They're already at 24 weight. They're already at 24 weight. Outrageous. Well, I'm not doing our fish meat run, but after this, after I'm done filling these guys up, I might have to end this stream here. I think I did most of what I wanted to do on the stream today. And I can always... I'm going to probably stream some other games too later tonight. In the next hour or so. I'm going to try to go back to my Call of Duty. Uh, zombies again. I did pretty well last time. And I unfortunately had to... Made it to round wave 40. And unfortunately I had to cut the stream because I had to go to work. And not time that very well. It took a little bit longer than expected. I was expecting to try to at least get to like low 50 or whatever, but this time we have no time limit and I can try to get really high up there in the waves. I'll try to do that. We'll see how that works out. Yep, don't forget to like and follow the streaming and so you guys don't miss on any of my streams. I also, again, Anyone is more than welcome to join the server. That's the server name right there. Anyone is more than welcome to join. Them. Yeah. Did a couple things today. We got Baryon. We finally got our Baryonxes. We also got some baby Vantos. Some more baby Baryonxes. Some awesome stats. Maybe tomorrow or some other time, I might try to go maybe do some wyvern runs, get some wyvern eggs again. Who knows? Who knows what will, what will happen? But thank you all for watching, though, and supporting and whatnot. Really, I do, really do appreciate it. I'll see you guys later.